Hello, curious friends! Today, let's discover the fascinating journey of raindrops and unravel the secrets behind their formation. Water is essential for all life, and nature generously provides it to us through rain, a key part of the water cycle. This cycle keeps Earth's water in constant motion, transforming from liquid to vapor to ice and back again. Now let's zoom in on how raindrops are formed. Interestingly, each raindrop needs a tiny helper to come into existence. These helpers are microscopic particles like dust, pollen, or even a bit of salt. Without these particles, known as cloud condensation nuclei, water vapor would have a hard time condensing into liquid. Here's what happens. Water in lakes, rivers, and oceans evaporates into the air due to the sun's heat. This water vapor rises up and cools down in the higher, cooler parts of the atmosphere. When it meets tiny particles floating in the air, the water condenses around them, beginning the life of a raindrop. But what do raindrops look like? Contrary to popular belief, they're not shaped like teardrops. Small raindrops are spherical, like tiny balls as they grow bigger by colliding with other droplets. Their shape becomes more like a hamburger bun, rounded on the top and flatter on the bottom. The biggest raindrops become parachute-like in shape. However, if they're too big, they become unstable and break apart into smaller droplets again. As for their composition, while raindrops on Earth are primarily made of water, some can contain traces of pollutants like sulfuric acid leading to acid rain in certain environments. This isn't typical for all rain, but occurs in areas with specific environmental pollution. Interestingly, the concept of rain varies across our solar system. On other planets like Venus, rain can be composed of sulfuric acid due to the highly acidic atmosphere. Meanwhile, on Titan, Saturn's moon, the extremely cold temperatures allow for methane to condense and fall as rain. One fun fact before we go. Did you know that certain bacteria, like Pseudomonas syringae, can also act as nuclei for raindrop formation? These bacteria can influence weather patterns by helping to form ice crystals or raindrops. So next time you see raindrops falling, remember they're not just simple drops of water, but a result of an intricate and fascinating process involving nature's tiny particles and the incredible cycle of water.